Sorry, I didn't expect to get so emotional, but it's such an incredible gesture for a six-year-old. Hey, what's up? A.A. Ron here for my 41st reaction video. This went to a six and seven-year-old Angelina Jordan doing the iconic Rolling in the Deep by Adele. Now, what's fascinating about this is you're going to see two performances here. The first one is in a studio at the age of six, and then there's one at the age of seven where she's performing live. And you see a huge difference between these two, even though it's less than a year span. I don't have exact dates, so I don't know how less or how much less, but it's certainly less than a year span. So it's an incredible difference. So make sure you pay attention early on so you can hear the differences and the minor discrepancies, or in some cases, major discrepancies between the two. Um, thank you, and let's get going. There it is. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, so much to unpack there. Um, okay. So if you were to give this song to a hundred thousand six year olds, um, she would absolutely be the best singer among them. 
Like, I have no question about that, no doubt. Um, and many of you talked about, it, always remind me, you know, not only that, she, this is in English, it's not her first language. Um, you know, she doesn't have a, a teacher that's working with her all the time and stuff. Um, you know, and, and so it's super, super impressive because this is a huge piece. This is an incredibly difficult piece. Um, these belts, not only are they belts, but they, they're belts where you, you, you have to, um, shift the pitch where you come in and then come off the note and on the offset, uh, the, excuse me, the onset's difficult. Um, and she did struggle with that. Um, uh, but you know, it's very, very impressive at this age. Now, you will hear and see me always be honest. Um, and so I'm going to talk about some of the things that, um, you know, were good and some that were, were not so good, right? Um, for starters, the very beginning of this, um, she, she struggled with the timing, which is not something typical for her. Um, and so right at the beginning, she's off time and then she finds it and does get on time pretty quickly. I think maybe by the second measure, uh, but she is off time. Almost on time. Now she gets it. Yeah, so like the fourth measure, I think. Reaching. Almost there. Now she's on. And then she had a couple pieces through the beginning as well, where she did have some timing. Um, and, and then um, there were a couple points um, where I don't know if she got confused, she thought she was done, or the interaction with her grandmother, or what was going on there, where she kind of lost focus and got back to it. Um, certainly understandable, considering you know this is just kind of a casual recording session um, and so forth. But um, this song requires such big lungs, and not only is she trying to belt out this and and you know create these phrases similar to Adele. Um, but she's also moving around, dancing, thumbs up, and everything here, um, which which takes a lot out of you in and of itself. And some of these things, like this right here. Are so good. And she is is uh, doing a great job emulating Adele in some cases. In other cases, she has her own sound. Um, but this is just such such uh, a tough tough tune. Um, when we started the second verse, I don't have timings here, so I'm not entirely sure where. So when we get to the peak, could it happen? Oh, right. So, so I think that the first one of these was actually one of the better ones. She had a struggle getting to this peak, which is really difficult, actually. Still the thumbs up. So when she starts the second verse, it hits hard. It's great start. And then I think she got, I wrote down, um, she started hard um, and, and then it got confused. Um, so I think she lost a little something. I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe some, some distractions in the outside of the studio may not even be her fault. Maybe her hearing in her, uh, hearing in her ears. Um, there's a million reasons that um, probably, you know, most of them are not her fault. Um, so, but this, this starts really hard. Like she hits it on, um, or at least that's what my notes show. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Right in there. Yeah, not sure what happened there. She got a little confused. And each time when we get to the strong belts, um, she did struggle with that. She absolutely struggled with it. But 
come on. I mean, this is this is next to impossible for anybody. Um, even uh, a, a strong singer, um, it's very, very difficult. I mean, there's a reason Adele instantly raised, rose to stardom with this song, right? This, if, if I'm not mistaken, this was the song that put her on the map, and there's a reason for it, right? Um, and for a little girl to do this is 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 close to impossible, and she's doing a dang good job, but she absolutely struggled with that. Here. Yeah, see, she, she's having a hard time with that. Um, okay, so now I'm going to end this because um, we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. Actually, I'm not going to end it. We'll just continue. We'll listen to the next one. So this is her doing the same song, Rolling in the Deep. But uh, I, I can see from the scenery here, um, I believe this is a live performance. Um, and so this is a year later or maybe, uh, maybe not an entire year. I don't know exactly. This shows... Uh, July 4th, 2013. I don't know if I have the date from the other one. Um, yeah, it doesn't necessarily show, but um, let's get into it. Okay, so we see the baby crying, um, and, and that's just indicative of, of, you know, the kind of audience here and just, you know, how young she still is. Um, we do see she has no shoes here, um, which I love. Um, and for those of you that don't know the full story of all of the, you know, angel followers, um, you know, she had met uh, some girl on the side of the road, and this is detailed in her book, um, and so, um, you know, Please buy it and support her. Uh, but ultimately, um, this girl was trying to raise money to uh, weighing people on the scales, and, and everybody was passing her by, and this just this whole exchange. Um, and the girl didn't have shoes. And ultimately, Angelina gave her the shoes off her own feet. Sorry, I didn't expect to get so emotional, but it's such an incredible gesture for a six-year-old, right? And... She talks about how she always thinks of that girl and she performs barefoot in memory of that girl um, and those less fortunate, right? And that's one of the reasons they call her the barefoot princess. Um, and so uh, nevertheless, uh, she has improved so much here um, from, from the last performance. Um, and again, it's probably only a matter of a few months or whatever. But we see that, you know, she fixed her timing, first of all, towards the beginning. It was almost spot on. It was still a little bit of, a uh, little off. Oh, she sounds so much better. Now, she still is having difficulty uh, with that chorus peak. Um, but, yeah, overall, she sounds so much better. Um, she, she does have her body language towards the beginning kind of closed off a little bit. But then she does open up and so forth. I don't think it was like any kind of nerves or anything like that. It's just it's just a comment, right? It's just something I'm noticing. Um, it's always so much more difficult, um, you know, performing live. And then to boot, she's not mic'd up or anything. Um, the acoustics of this room are terrible. Um, you know, so 
she's just dealing with it so well, so mature. And uh, once again, we have another treasure here in this recording. And it's so amazing that we, we have the ability to document this. So um, I'm so glad I did it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you much. Uh, please do subscribe. Look, if you're following my, my journey here, um, or Angelina's journey in this case, right? Um, and you haven't subscribed yet, I'm, I'm, I'm virtually slapping you and saying, yo, what's up? Um, why not? <laughs> and if this is your first time here, just do it anyway. I'll virtually slap you too. Why not? Right. Like, let's join, let's go along for the ride and, and, uh, it'll be fun. So thank you much. We'll see you in the next one.